Okay, let's go. So I'm Barbara Mason and welcome to um, the Oregon Art Educators um, Association Conference. We're doing a um, printmaking workshop geared for kids from kindergarten through fifth grade. Uh, but really, anybody could do this. You just step it up if you're doing more complicated. Uh, if you have older students, you just do more complicated imagery. The processes really don't change that much. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is printmaking itself. You know, um, we always think about wh when did printmaking start? And I really think it was a caveman who put his hand in the mud and put his hand on the wall. You know, that was probably the very first print, somebody's handprint, or maybe footprint. And um, it's just grown from there. And all through history, um, people were making prints. They were putting ink or paint on something and transferring it to something else. They were carving a ring and transferring it to wax. They were uh, to make a seal. So all the way through history, um, printmaking has been a big part of it. And then, of course, when people started to duplicate writing, where they could make something and make a picture that everybody could read, or they could uh, finally do words and duplicate those so everybody could read it. It's just gone from there. And um, now we have printmaking where you can run it through your computer, print it out, transfer it to something, and then print it and make a million copies. And um, one of the things that printmaking has always really um, been good for is what they call the dissemination of information. So um, specifically in um, political situations where somebody wanted to um, have a little printing press in their basement and they would <clears throat> print up a bunch of flyers, you know, saying their guy was better than the other guy, take them out and distribute them and then move the press so nobody could find them. And that type of political um, printmaking has been going on probably for the last 500 years, maybe longer. So. Um, Printmaking is, um, I think it's just the best thing since sliced bread, but um, that's my personal opinion. I took a printmaking class, <clears throat> gosh, I must have been, I don't want to age myself here, I was younger. I took, took a printmaking class when my kids were in um, middle school, and um, I took a class at the OSAC, which then was OCAC, and then now is nothing. But when I took this class, um, it was a monoprint class, and I had no idea what it was, but it just sounded interesting. I thought, well, you know, weekend class. And um, I took the class, and I came home and told my husband, this is what I want to do. I'm so excited about this. And he said, okay. And thousands of dollars later, and lots and lots of classes, I can say I'm a printmaker. So um, I did really want to do it, and I'm really glad I did. So the first thing we're going to talk about is... Um, the materials. And so there are a lot of different kinds of ink that you can use. Um, there's an awful lot of water-based ink now. Um, let me try to find a one that's not uh, disgustingly dirty here. Um, this is an ink that's a recent ink. This ink started in, um, this ink started as a liquid in 19, probably 1990, 1991. And they've just been developing it. Um, they've just been developing it for the last um, 25 years, 30 years. They've just been developing it. It just gets better and better. And a few years ago, they sold it to Speedball. It's called a Kua. And um, they sold it to Speedball. They just got tired of running a company, which. I can understand. So they sold it to Speedball and went to work for Speedball. And I think that worked out very well for them. So it's a water-based ink and it originally was honey-based and now it is, I think, soy-based. But uh, it cleans up with water. But you, if you mix the water with it, it just doesn't work. But it will never, ever dry on your slab. Absolutely never. It'll get stiffer, but it'll never dry. It dries by absorption into the paper. So um, um, sometimes if you have lots of layers, It'll never dry on the paper either. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, one of my very favorite kinds of printmaking that I do with kids, and it's fish printing. So fish printing is, um, you can buy these rubber fish. You can use real fish. The problem with real fish is uh, you have to, um, sometimes the scales come off and then your fish doesn't look good. You have to take their eyeballs out, which is not my, not my favorite. You kind of have to put stuff under and prop up their fins. and. You know, it's a lot of work to use real fish, and they smell bad, that's the other thing. 
but this is a rubber fish comes from Dick Blisch. This particular fish is probably 25 years old, still going strong. So they just don't wear out. Um, this one has gotten a lot of wear. It's a little sticky. Somebody used acrylic paint on it, which uh, I don't recommend. The kind of ink I like to use on it for fish printing, you could use poster paint, and I think that works just fine. Um, I like this monotype ink. This is called um, Createx. The problem is it's only pretty much good for this. I never really liked it much for anything else. Um, but it does do a great job on the fish printing. I can get it to come out. Do you use real fish? Do you have a, like, preferences where you go? Or? You know, um, like fish market, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and they might even give you a fish. I don't know. They might even give you a fish if you go and ask them. It's amazing how you can... I have done it with real fish in the past, but it's a, they do smell bad. And so one of the things that you do when you have, um, you can give them a little spritz of water. This is a great thing for outside too. I've done this a lot at um, outside um, venues. And you, um, my brush. So what I do is I use paper plates. I like ink on paper plates and I have a piece of plastic. I put a little piece of plastic under each fish, just a piece of plexiglass when I'm working outside. So what I do is I have a different color of ink on every plate and I have like five choices of colors and I just let the kids take the brush, get it in the ink and paint their fish. And so it's um, pretty easy. They can just put the paint anywhere they want. They can do stripes, polka dots, and they all turn out. There just is no such thing as a bad fish print. Yeah, they just re they really do all turn out. They just all turn out really well. And sometimes the kids, you know, they'll, they'll just mix all the colors together and they kind of have a big mess and you think, ugh. But it's amazing. They turn out really well, even, even if they're just totally brown. And the kids are so excited when they did it. I did it once on uh, AM Northwest, and uh, the woman's name is Helen. I don't know if you've ever seen AM Northwest. And so she was painting her fish, and we were talking. And, and then at the end, one thing about having it on a piece of plastic, you can just take it off to print it. You don't have to worry about the table being messy. And when I work with kids, I use newsprint. Just rub it to the edges, and if you're outside and it gets a little dry, you can just spray it a little bit with water before you print it. And then I have them write their name on it, and we hang it on our clothesline. We run a clothesline along the edge of the tent or wherever we are, and, and you just can hardly get a bad one. And then if you want one, I'm going to do this again because I'm going to show you something else. If you want one. Say you wanted one that you're going to give it as a gift to somebody. Maybe you want to frame it and you want it to be really, really nice paper. You can use Sumi paper. Sumi paper will really give you a nice print. It's a little more fragile than um, newsprint, so you have to be a little more careful with it because you can tear it if everything is too wet. But it really, it really does a nice job, really pretty print. I'm, I'm very fond of doing this with kids, you know, they just, everybody loves it. I did a summer thing uh, at Reedville School this summer of a, uh, what do they call, summer school. And um, so we had two weeks of, of making all different kinds of prints and, um, or different kinds of, you know, different kinds of, of artwork. And I said to the kids, the first day I did the printmaking, this fish printing, because it's so much fun. And so I said to them, later, we had one more day, and I said, what do you want to do on the last day? You know, do you want to do drawing? What do you want to do? You know, and they all wanted to do the fish printing again, so we did it a second time. So this is a piece of Sumi paper. This comes from um, Dick Bleck again. 
And um, you print on the smooth side, not the rough side. You can see how um, absorbent it is. You can see the whole fish right through the paper. So you can see that if this was very wet, this paper would just tear. But the print it makes is really beautiful. That's on sumi. This is sumi paper, yeah. So it's pretty astounding. We'll just lay these over here to dry. So this would be, I think this would be a good way to introduce introduce printmaking to kids that have never done it before, you know? Because it's so direct and so fast. Yeah, the, the, the immediacy of it is very cool. Yeah. You know? It's just so much fun. We're just talking about, you know, as with high school kids, you know, you find kids that fish. We have lots of kids that fish. Yeah. Just bring them in. We can just it down go outside and just go for it. Yeah. Exactly. You know, just say, hey, yeah. if, it's a, if it's a total disaster, yeah. there's something to be learned in that disaster. You know? Yeah, I had um, 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 Robert Schlegel, Bo uh, Bill Schlegel used to teach at yes. Sunset when my son yeah, was in junior high school. Well, and, and he, 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 I went, was working with his class one year, and he did a fish print for me about this big, must have been a salmon, and just black and white, and just as a thank you present. And so I always treasured that fish print. Mm -hmm.